very frustrated just because like, you know, we brought numerous of things to their attention and they didn't like, they didn't protect the kids. Tonight, parents are frustrated. They want to know why a teacher who faced sexual abuse allegations in 2019 was only arrested last week. 62-year-old Kim Wilson faces more than a dozen charges with the earliest known report of abuse back in 2014, reported in 2019. Thanks for staying with us here at 530. I'm Adrian Moore. And I'm Tony Lopez. We've learned that the investigation was suspended and Wilson kept on teaching. CBS 13's Madison Keeby is live at the school where at least one of the incidents is reported to have happened. Madison, you've taken those parents' concerns to state and local officials. What are they saying? Well, Tony, they're not saying as much as parents would have liked today. The Sacramento Police Department says everything they've shared that you just went through is really as much as they can share. And I've reached out to the Twin Rivers Unified School District spokesperson multiple times today and haven't heard back. And even uh, to hear that they could not comment because of the ongoing investigation. And it's left the parents that I've talked to feel like they aren't really trusting of the district and the school. And it has one mother saying she's taking her kids out. Yeah, I just want to know why, you know, why they feel the kids like that. A mom of two who were both students in Kim Wilson's Del Paso Heights Elementary School classroom last year like talked to me on a break at work. She said there were signs as a parent that made her worry about her children's teacher even then. She told me Wilson called himself a player to the students and talked about pimps regularly. She said the school staff didn't act on her concerns and chalked it up to Wilson being, quote, old school. She said she called the principal directly with these concerns. I would like to know how come they didn't, you know, do anything back in 2014. I would also like to know how come he was able to stay at the school nine plus years after the first allegation. Sacramento police reported the first allegation came to the Twin Rivers School District in 2019, a lewd contact report that happened back in 2014 on this campus, linked to Wilson. The case went to SAC PD, but it was then suspended, and it's under review now as to why. Then recently, another report of a juvenile assault, also in 2014. Wilson then arrested last week, January 2023. Why was the case suspended if there was more allegations coming up on him? He shouldn't have been there that long. My kids should have never been in his class. As a parent, you know, uh, I'm really concerned w w uh, about my children because they don't know what's going on and they could be the, the victim. Twin Rivers Unified School District didn't respond to my requests for comment. Why was Wilson able to teach after he was linked to an assault investigation? No response. This email sent to parents shortly after Wilson's arrest, the only insight we've had from the district about the troubling details. It says the district is, quote, deeply saddened and Wilson is on leave and won't be allowed back on campus even if he gets out on bail. I also heard back from the State Department of Education, and they say a lot of these questions and concerns come down to the local level, level which would be the school districts. They said as far as teacher and credentials go and inquiries about that, that's a totally separate state commission that those questions would have to be directed to, which we have. And, of course, as we get more answers, we'll continue to carry you with us and update you.